So, I leaked my base coordinates the other month, and this is what happened. It was kind of a wild ride, so trust me, you're gonna want to watch till the end. January the 3rd, 2021. I was told that day started just like any other. Another day amidst the pandemic period. Time fading away like never before, people slowly turning to insanity as the days grew ever so boring. Nobody knew what the day was to bring, for little hope for entertainment was left. Then, from the darkness lit a small flame. The flame burned quiet like a small matchstick fire, yet it crackles and pops. It echoed throughout the realm of modded factions, reverbing throughout all of the Vault's community server. Kuba, that's my name by the way, had released a premiere video, leaking the coordinates of his base. This was going to be no ordinary day. I uploaded a video announcing my base coordinates. Now, it was time to prepare. I messaged my strongest allies, and together we... Uh... Well, well, at least we have Floyd? Shit! And so, I gathered my second strongest allies. Saifala and Goldrush. With these two on our side, we could stop anyone. Since the video was going to upload in about 30 minutes, we prepared some defenses as quickly as we could. We created maxed out turrets, obsidian structures as distractions, spawned creeper bosses as defenders, and a uh, extra special surprise on the inside. Minutes before the video release, we gathered the strongest and the stealthiest gear in the game. Fully enchanted obsidian armor with enhanced magical properties was worn by gold, while me and Sai opted for the multi-plate power armor with invisibility abilities for reconnaissance. Multiple weapons to handle any situation that came up, ranging from guns, rifles, kikokus which could negate all armor values, and swords that were even more powerful than that. We were prepared for it all. The in-game chat was heating up, and viewers were awaiting to see the coordinates leak as I started to get excited. We were all ready. Nobody could stop us from slaying them all. Hey jeez Bobby, what's this hole on the base? The WHAT?! All in the valley of death rode the few. Forward, we need them in view. Charge for the guns, they said. Into the valley of death rode the few men who dare. And in less cryptic statements, the creepers and turrets destroyed everyone who entered the area. We didn't even really have to stab anyone, we just sort of flew around vibing. We didn't have a care in the world and- uh, Oh shit, I died! Well, let me explain what just happened. Vault's community has force fields, which can be used to protect bases, a given. But, they can also be used to create a matrix field. Within these fields, you can do pretty much anything that you like. Like, for example, you can take out everything from everyone's inventories and kill them nearly instantly. This is what the player called Super Snack did. He went to a hidden location within range of our base and set up a matrix field to empty out our inventories and kill us. This killed everyone at the raid, including us, which is what you just saw occur. Honestly, it was a good move and Super Snack handled his victory with grace and elegance. LOL, wrecked, get wrecked! Super Snack thought that he managed to outsmart us, but he was just full of air. I warned everyone about the situation, and we set a plan into motion. We knew that my base could withstand anything that Super Snack would try to throw at it for now, but not forever. We needed to turn off his matrix, but he wouldn't let us near it without trying to kill us, meaning we had to kill Super Snack and his accomplice. Luckily, it was us. Remember that extra special defense I mentioned? It was our own Matrix setup, with another teammate, Lava L3T, who was ready to turn it on whenever we told him to. Unfortunately, he did also die to the Matrix, making things a little more complicated, but if we managed to get it on, it would rob everybody in the area and kill them instantly. 
aka the Super Snack Gang, would be gone. It took me a couple tries, but I managed to teleport in and turn it on because, like I said, the Matrix kills nearly instantly. Back into the thing. Oh, 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 quick, 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 quick. Toggle. Yes, I activated ours. We activated it, boys. Pog. Um, it's not big enough. It didn't kill him. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh, Super yeah. Snack. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Pog. Now that Super Snack Incorporated was dead and itemless, we could get our operation going. The Matrix was still in operation, but using a lot of items, we managed to overload the storage for the inventory robbing ability. This meant we only had to worry about the instant death element. But Kuba, how are you gonna counter death itself? Simple. You see, when me and my allies play modded factions, we don't put in maximum effort. We play... restrained. And all we had to do was, well, release restraint level. One. At this level, we achieve near immortality. Death has no meaning to non mortals. And so we casually started mining around and found Super Snacks Matrix, which we promptly took for ourselves. This is why you're here. Found it. You found it? Yes! Done. We got it? Where are you? And all of the gear in it. Fuck. Gold, yes. gold, get me over there right now. No, I'm the funniest part of this encounter was that Super Snack was so convinced that we didn't have a Matrix of our own, he thought his own Matrix identifier stopped working and killed him and his teammates. So, naturally, all I can say is this. LOL wrecked get wrecked. After the Matrix went up, the people who were on the server were struggling to get close to the base without losing all their gear. A small resistance started slowly making their way towards the turret that we had placed outside. However, their hope was dwindling. Then, out of nowhere, I got a notification on my Discord. Now, you might be wondering who Aurelis Dev is. He's the guy who made the Force Field mod. He logged on and started gathering resources to take out my defenses. I was curious what the developer would come up with. Insane bombing strategies? Magical tools? Advanced drones? Nope. Nope. He just decided he was going to use math. Since I didn't turn on the force field aspect of the force field, the developer could use his own force field to do some basic area math and figure out exactly where my matrix was and use a block break modifier to remove my matrix from the outside. He spent three hours trying to do this and finally he managed to penetrate the base. Shame he didn't do the math quite right. Pretty <laughs> chunk loaded it for you half the time. <laughs> Okay, uh, there should be a force field inside yeah, yeah, your base. Yeah, 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 it's inside the base. <laughs> Look at it. But not enough yet. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's in there. It's in there, it's kind of. Yeah, it's in. I'm going to check it out in a second. I mean, it's gone now. He disabled it. It's in the base. It's in the base. What the fuck are you talking about? It's in the base. <laughs> this is working perfectly fine. Is it? It's taken it's a little bit while to be working perfectly fine. I mean... Um, this is a real raid. We would have moved all this shit already. Uh, uh, right? you, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have had to. I'm breaking. I'm breaking each part there. of your base now. Oh yeah, yeah, you Ooh. are. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> really, really, really breaking it here, aren't you? Can you? If you can you can you just do one thing for me, please? <laughs> no. You, what do you want? Just, <laughs> just, can you just teleport me? Can you just tell me what I fucked up? <laughs> Eventually, though, he did manage to correct his math, and he did break the matrix. I'll just add it to the, to the turret. No, 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 don't, don't tell me. I mean, I, I, oh, got it. Super snap. Oh, no, yeah, stuff. he got it. Good job. Oh, no. Meaning he could easily walk into the base and start raiding it, start claiming all the items that were there. But then suddenly, out of nowhere, Super Snack flew in, placed an animator explosive, which destroyed, well, everything. Everything got destroyed. I was in a call with the developer while he was raiding me, and his insanity at this point was paper thin. <laughs> and so I lost one of my bases that day, but provided a lot more fun and challenge to so many more. Well worth it in the end. Maybe I'll leak some more coordinates in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.